In this video, we're gonna take any groove that you already know and spice it up. Let's get started. So the purpose of today's lesson is just to show you how much mileage you can truly get out of any of the grooves and patterns that you already know in your playing just by changing how we're going to play our right hand. So what we're going to do today is just take some different right hand accent variations and apply that to some very basic rock grooves. Now when we play an accent on the hi-hat or the ride cymbal, not only are we going to change the stick height, but I'm also going to slightly change the placement of my stick on the cymbal itself. For the hi-hat, when I'm playing unaccented notes, normal hits, I'm just using the tip of the stick on the hi-hat. When I want to play an accent, I'm going to slightly drop my arm to allow the shoulder of the stick to engage the hi-hat. I'm also gonna slightly increase my stick height to get a louder sound. So if I were to play a string of downbeat accents on the hi-hat, it would sound like this. The same thing is going to be true on the ride cymbal. When I play an accent on the ride cymbal for the purpose of today's lesson, I'm going to have my right hand play on the bell with the shoulder of the stick, and when I play an unaccented note on the ride cymbal, I'm going to play with the tip of the stick on the normal body of the ride. So here's the first approach that we're going to take the most basic rock groove that everyone learns when they first start drumming. Now right there is an example of all three of my limbs fairly equal in volume and balanced within that groove. But what if we keep the pattern the same and now accent the downbeats on the hi-hat. So this is now gonna sound like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Just by adding that one change in the right hand, we have a completely different sounding groove. What if we flip that around and only accent all of the upbeats? That's gonna sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. For you beginner and even intermediate drummers out there, you might find that that particular variation is challenging to line up a quiet hi-hat hit with a loud bass drum hit. So make sure to practice this slowly to get the correct volume balance between those two limbs. Let's just take those two variations of downbeat accents on the hi-hat or upbeat accents on the hi-hat and start putting some fills along with those grooves. I'm going to interchange between downbeat accents and upbeat accents so you can hear the difference of these grooves. It's the same pattern, but two different sounding grooves, just by changing how we play our right hand. Now here's one more accent pattern that you can try with your right hand. This one is definitely more challenging, um, but it's going to sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three.
If we put that with our bass drum and snare drum, we're going to have this sound. That's an example of kind of improvising your accents within the hi-hat. Uh, and this is a fun approach just when you're playing a groove to try to get creative with where you could place an accent in that string of eighth notes to have different sorts of melodies while you play. Let's try that groove with some fills. Now we're going to take those three different variations that we just played with our right hand, downbeat accents, upbeat accents, and then the fun, funky accent pattern that we just did, and apply this over to the ride cymbal. The accents are going to be on the bell of the cymbal, unaccented notes going to be on the body of the ride. Let's try all three of these grooves with some fills on the ride cymbal. Let's get even spicier with it, and on the right hand accents, I'm gonna play on the stack cymbal, and on the unaccented notes, I'm still gonna play on the body of the ride cymbal. So try these different right hand accent patterns with any groove that you're already comfortable with and start getting creative with different ways that you can accent the right hand within your own grooves. If you found this lesson helpful, make sure to smash that like button and let me know down in the comments section. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.